it's Lego P3 and I'm back with another custom minifigure showcase here. Um, this time I actually have three customs and that's uh, Kyle Rayner Green Lantern, um, Alfredo Linguini and Remy from Ratatouille, and Avatar Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, these are just three kind of random figures I made over the past month or two. Um, and I just didn't really want to make three videos so I just, I'm just going to put them all together here. Um, so let's get into each one. So first up is Green Lantern. Um, this was a pretty simple minifigure to make. Um, you can see it's just basic black legs. I just painted the green boots and um, like knee pads. Um, his torso is also fairly basic. Um, I had to paint the white um, on the front of the black to torso. Um, I painted on the muscles um, with a dark gray and the uh, the symbol on his um, left side of his chest is actually a decal because I tried painting it at first, but it didn't really come out that well. So I just printed out a decal and uh, glued it on there. But then it looks pretty good. Um, uh, the arms are just uh, black arms with some green uh, like on the bottom of the arms. That continues on to the hands. And he's also got um, a, a ring that I made for him. Uh, it's just using those two Lego pieces. Um, the back of the torso I also painted on a little bit of uh, like his body shape or whatever. Um, his neck, I also painted a tiny bit of his like black collar onto his neck and his face. Um, it was, I'm not sure what face it originally came with, but it's a pretty old face um, with that smile and like eyes. Um, but I covered, uh, I painted over the eyes. Um, so I painted on his um, you know, his mask, and, uh, I think it came out pretty good. I also painted the white eyes in the middle of the mask. Um, yeah, so I think the face is overall pretty good, and then the hair was just the dog trainer hair, and then I just painted it black, because I think it matches Kyle Rayner's hair fairly well, so this is a pretty basic custom, but, so I guess that's it, so let's get on to, uh, Linguini and Remy. So here's Linguini and Remy from Ratatouille. Um, I made this figure um, fairly fast. It only took me like a day and a half, um, but I was re recently re-watching the movie. Um, I just decided to make this custom. Um, so yeah, so you can see his legs were just um, dark, I mean light gray legs. And then I just painted on his red shoes. Um, I think they're sneakers. So And then a little bit of white on the front of the shoes. Um, and then I gave him the like the kitchen skirt thing or whatever. So that was just a regular Lego skirt. And then I just painted it white because um, it had some printing on it before. Um, I think that fits pretty well. Um, his torso was also um, just a white torso that I just painted on all the like the buttons and stuff. I, I painted on a little bit of his like chest at the top um, and then his collar. On the back of the torso, it's just like a wrinkle and then back of his collar. Um, the arms uh, are just white arms with a little bit of his skin showing and a couple of wrinkles and then I just gave him this big like kitchen knife and then his face was I think it's um, the face from the Jurassic Park set. Um, I, I'm not sure what the character's name is but it's the one with the hat um, the guy and so then I just erased some of the printing that was on there because he had quite a few wrinkles, and that didn't really match Linguini, so I just erased those and then painted on like a tiny bit of stubble at the bottom of his chin, um, which I think came out pretty good because he does have a little bit of that. And then I just painted his freckles, and then I repainted his eyebrows. Um, so I think the face looks like Linguini. Um, I didn't paint my own, I just used a Lego face, like I said. And then the hair was um, Jay's hair from the Lego Ninjago movie, um, his new hair piece. And then I just painted it like a dark red brown. In this lighting, it kind of looks just brown, but when you compare it next to like le normal Lego brown, it's much redder looking. Um, so that kind of matches his hair. And then his like kitchen hat, um, a toque or something, whatever it's called, I just sculpted that out of green stuff. Um, and I put in all the lines and stuff, and then I just painted it white. So I think that came out pretty good. And then the last part is just Remy. Um, so yeah, so that's just the Lego, uh, 
normal Lego wrap piece. And then I just painted it like a bluish gray. And then I painted the feet and tail the pinkish color and also his nose and ears the pink color. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to make him too cartoony looking. So I just used the normal Lego piece. So overall, I think it came out pretty good. Um, but that's about it. So let's get on to Avatar Aang. So here's the last figure for this video. Um, it's just Avatar Aang from like Avatar The Last Airbender, like I said. So a few months ago when it came back on, I mean, yeah, I guess for the first time it was on Netflix. I rewatched the whole show and, you know, I knew I liked it the first time, but, you know, I, re I really liked it again. So then I just decided to make a quick custom. Um, so yeah, so the legs are just um, like custom legs, like they're just Lego legs, but I cut them short at the bottom and then re-glued the feet so they'd be shorter. Uh, I was going to use the new Lego mid-legs, but, you know, none of them come in yellow and I don't have very many of those. So I just used some regular Lego legs and then I repainted the, the, like the feet brown so they look like his shoes. And then there's a little bit of dark brown at the, the front of them. Um, so I think the shoes look pretty good. And then that's about it for the legs. But the torso is also yellow. And then I just painted on the orange all around. And I decided to make his basic costume from seasons one and two. Just because most customs I see of Aang are really like his season three outfit. Which he really doesn't wear much of this show. Like this is the one he wears most of the show. So this is the one I decided to make. Um, so yeah, so I painted the orange. Uh, with some black outlining and then a little bit of his skin at the top for his collar. Um, the orange wraps around the sides of the torso, which is, I think, the first time I've done that. And then it also comes onto the back with some more orange at the bottom. Um, the arms are just yellow arms that I painted the orange sleeves on. Um, or They're not sleeves. It's like, I don't know, it's like part of his poncho thing he wears or whatever. Um, with a little bit of yellow. And then his hands are just... I painted on the blue arrows onto his hands. Um, I think those came out pretty good as well. And then I just gave him the a Lego bow staff piece. I think it should be more dark brown, but I think it looks fine like this. And then his face, um, I actually like pretty much completely painted the face. The only thing that's um, printed are the eyes. And then, so I erased the rest of the face and just left the eyes. And then I painted on the mouth and the eyebrows. I think it came out pretty good. Um, doesn't look perfect. The teeth look kind of weird, but I think overall it's okay. And then, the, of course, I had to paint on the blue arrow at the top of his head. So I did that, and that wraps around the, from, starts from the back, then call, comes all the way up top, and then comes over to the front. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty good, and that's about it. Um, so that's it for this video, so let's conclude it. So I hope you guys enjoyed these uh, three new customs. Um, I know it's been a long time since my last video. I'm sorry, but it's also going to be a long time until my next one. I don't have any customs planned right now, and I'm going to school. So it'll probably be a very long time until my next video. But um, thanks to all the new subscribers. Um, you can go watch the old videos, I guess. Um, so that's about it, and I'll see you guys next time.